hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i have some gel polishes and some nail art from born pretty to show you guys today they're actually having a huge 10th anniversary sale on their website everything is like less than half the price so i will be sure to leave all the links to the products that i mentioned in the video today um, along with my discount code. I do have a discount code that you guys can use which is Erica 10 whenever you shop there for 10% off So yeah, make sure you check out the description box But yeah, I will also be announcing the giveaway winner at the end of this video But before I do that, I did want to mention that um, when I went to choose a winner I ran into a problem where a lot of people didn't have their subscribers showing on their channel and I needed to be able to check that um, you guys were subscribed to my channel because that's part of the giveaway. Um, I don't know if you guys have your subscribers private, but I just wanted to let you know um, that like if you do enter any future giveaways to make sure that you have your subscribers showing on your channel so that I can verify. Um, otherwise you might miss out on the giveaway and I really don't want that to happen. So yeah, make sure you guys do that. So yeah, they sent me over six different gel polishes from the brand Your Sugar. They're like these really cute little 7.5 milliliter neon fluorescent gels, which I will be swatching in a few. I also did receive this pack of these like holographic color shifting butterfly stickers. It comes with 16 in this entire pack. And these are super cute. I've always wanted these. Um, I've seen them on Instagram a lot. And yeah, this pack literally comes with 16 different colors. They're so pretty. And I feel like you could pretty much pull butterflies off all year round, um, especially in the summer, but then in the winter and fall as well depending on what color you use. Like for winter, this blue would be really nice. And the fall, like the more like orange reddish tones or like the holographic. So yeah, they're definitely really versatile. Butterflies aren't just for the summer. So yeah, I'm really happy I have those and I will be definitely using those in future videos. Um, but in this video, I kind of wanted to um, play around with these gel polishes. I also did receive this transfer foil set. They're all like snakeskin um, transfer foils. I think um, these are super cute. They come in 10 different colors and these are really unique looking to me. I haven't really seen any like nail art that was snakeskin for the nails in these colors. Like I really like that purple and white one. That one looks super unique to me. And I really like that blue one with the purple. And I also like the one with the three colors, that's purple, blue, and pink. That one is super pretty. And I also do like the brown ones, even though they're um, plain, but they're still super cute. Um, I definitely can't wait to use these. And these are also pretty versatile. You can wear them all year round. So I'm gonna go ahead and begin swatching all the colors. And like I said, the name of this brand is called Your Sugar. I feel like this brand is really slept on. It is a brand that is based out of China, um, but not a lot of people use it and they have really great quality polishes um, for the price especially. They're literally like $2.99 a bottle. And as you can see with one coat, they're super pigmented. I've actually been using this brand like even before I started my YouTube channel. Um, and if you're like somebody who's looking for colors or you're just starting off doing nails, I highly recommend this brand, mainly because there's like so many different colors you can choose from and they're like so cheap literally. So it would definitely be a good way to like up your color collection. Um, that's exactly what I did when I first started doing nails. Like I bought like a ton of these polishes and I still have them to this day and I still use them. So yeah, they're definitely really nice. Um, the first color I swatched was UR04. The second color was UR5. And this yellow shade is UR6. Um, all of them have a really nice thick and creamy consistency. They apply really nicely. The only ones that had a little bit um, different of a consistency was that yellow shade. 
and this orange shade which is UR1. It was a little more jelly like and that could be because of the color um, but they still only needed like two coats. So yeah, they're definitely all really nice. As you could see, even though it's jelly-like, it's super pigmented. And it did say on the website that um, these were like fluorescent gel polishes. I'm not sure if that means they're supposed to glow or just change color a little bit after you cure them. But when I turned off the lights, I didn't really see that they glowed or anything. So I'm not really sure about that. But they are still really pretty. I love neon colors. I'm actually going to be using all the pinks in this video. Um, that pink shade I just swatched was UR3. And this orange shade I'm swatching is UR2. But yeah, I'm using all of the pinks in this video. I came up with this like little side French nail design. And it definitely came out really cute. It was definitely a look. And I think like I created like a new little style going on. But yeah, I'm doing one coat of these on camera and a second one off camera um, just to save time in the video. So yeah, this is after the second coat. And as you can see with two coats, these polishes are super pigmented and they're not nearly as expensive as like most gel polishes. So yeah, you definitely can't go wrong with these. And I'm just gonna be top coating all of them. I'm using my Madame Glam No Wipe Top Gel and I am going to be curing these for 60 seconds. After I apply the top coat to all of them, I'll show you guys what they look like after they're all cured. Alright, so for today's design, it's going to be like super simple. So basically, I'm doing like a little press on nail design. I applied some full cover nails to my practice hand off camera and just shaped them up like coffin shape. And now I'm going in with this acrylic from Valentino Beauty Pure. It's called Perfect Nude. And I'm using that shade to cover up the nail beds because on the practice hand, um, it doesn't really look that natural, so I'm using this to cover up the nail beds to give it a more natural appearance, like as if it was on an actual person. So I'm picking up really small beads and just applying it to the nail bed area. I'm not going to be filing these nails, so I'm making sure not to apply it too thick. And I'm using my um, Red Iguana silicone practice hand, my other two newer ones that I bought from No You. They already have designs on them and I didn't want to sit there forever like trying to remove them. So yeah, I'm just warning you, this one is a little beat up. She's going through some things, but you know, she's still good. She still could get her nails done. But um, yeah, I do have to repair the sidewall on this hand. For some reason, without even filing it or anything, it did split a little bit. But I did buy that um, Silpoxy stuff you can use to like seal it. So I actually have to do that, but you have to actually wait 24 hours before you can use the hand. And I just don't have time to wait like that. So I'm just going to go ahead and use it anyway. And the rod on her pinky finger also came through. 
So I'm gonna have to push that down and seal that hole. For some reason, the fingertips on these hands are super thin. And if you're not careful when you're posing the hand, um, the rod can pop through, which is super annoying because you pay like tons of money for these hands. When that happened, I was like so upset. I literally wanted to cry. But yeah, if you guys see that in this video, sorry about that. But I tried to like, you know, cover that up as much as I could. But in the end result, you can't really see that because obviously there's nails on. But yeah, she's 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 a hot mess, but but we're going to get through this. So, yeah. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and start painting the stripe design. So I'm using all of the pink shades. I'm using UR5, UR3, and UR4. You're going to see me apply the orange onto my palette, but I didn't actually end up using that. I just decided to use all of the pink shades. I think it came out way cuter that way. You could really use like any colors that you want. Um, this design is like, really versatile you can literally use any colors or change up your lines or whatever you want to do so yeah i'm using this um, little detail brush i believe this is a size three if i'm not mistaken i do have these linked in the description box if you're interested so yeah um i use the tip of my brush when i draw the lines um it helps so that your lines don't come out like super thick and you're just going to want to like pick up a little bit of the product on your brush and i'm doing like a little pattern um, from light pink to dark pink and i'm just going back and forth between all the colors and don't be obsessive like me and like get obsessed with how the lines look it's really not that serious um, at first i was like getting like obsessed like if the lines were like really straight or not but like after a while, I was just like, okay, it's really not that serious, and I just did it. Um, so when I go ahead and start painting, I kind of like rotate the nail to the side, and that helps you get like a straighter line, if you're wondering. To get thinner lines, you would use the tip of your brush. These lines aren't really that thin, though. I did make them um, a little bit thicker, but I like the way they turned out. Um, you can really do however you want. If you want thicker lines, you would obviously um, use more product. I'm going to be flash carrying with my McCart Mini um, UV LED lamp. Um, I like to flash care my nails when I'm doing gel as I go along so that I don't like bump into the nail and like mess up the design because I tend to do that a lot. Um, just make sure that if you're flash carrying, you move your gel polish out of the way because as soon as that UV LED light hits um, those gel polishes, they're going to cure. Um, onto your palette that actually happened to me a few times so yeah just be mindful of that and when I get to the ring finger my camera did cut off 
when I went to do like the second or third stripe. So I do apologize about that, but I did end up catching it um, after I, I think I was painting the third stripe. To finish up the design, I'm just going to top coat all of the nails with this Madame Glam No Wipe Top Gel. I'm also going to top coat the underside of the nails. You're going to want to do that with clear nails like this because sometimes when you file, you can see like the little scratches underneath the nail and the top coat will help to like blur that. And I'm also going to be sticking these little butterfly rhinestones that I got off of AliExpress into the gel um, if you're doing this design on yourself you're going to want to use um, a stronger bling gel or like a gel resin or something to hold the stones this is a fake hand so i didn't really care about doing that 
But yeah, this was a super simple nail art tutorial, like I said. So I hope you guys like this design. I think it came out super cute. It's definitely different from what we normally see. So yeah, let me know what you guys think of this set in the comments. Also, let me know what you think about the gel polishes from Your Sugar and the other nail art that I picked out. And if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified when I upload a new video. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram because I usually post all of my um, upcoming nail tutorials on there and my photos and stuff so you guys can stay updated like that. And congratulations to Amanda Kaysen for winning this giveaway. And thank you to everybody else that did enter this giveaway. There'll be plenty more giveaways on my channel for everyone to have a chance to win. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. I really appreciate all your guys' love and support. Thank you so much and I'll see you all in my next video.